Do you want to have some more awesome ideas for you to share on your Instagram stories? Keep watching. I'm Emily Schwabach, co-founder of the Social Squad Society. And today we're going to talk about what to share on Instagram stories. So oftentimes our members, clients we work with, they want to know what to share and why it's important to share on stories. So before I give you ideas, I wanted to share why we need to be doing this. So Instagram stories is like behind the music. Do you remember that show VH1's behind the music? You get to take a sneak peek behind the scenes with the business owner that you're following and you get to see exactly what they're doing right at that moment. When someone comes to your account, if they see that ring around your profile, they know that they can tap that and see what you're up to today. Your grid is great to take a peek and see what you're all about, but stories really give people a great idea about you as a person and not just as a business owner. And if we can think about what Instagram really is, it's not really a business app, it's a social app. So it's a great place to be social. When you have those stories going, you are able to connect with your audience in a way that you wouldn't normally be able to with just grid posts or stuff on our, our feed. Instagram stories is also where your personal brand is reinforced. So things that make you you, things that are unique about you, you get to reinforce that with stories. For instance, I love health and fitness. I love working out. I also love um, sushi and I will eat a whole party platter, split it with my husband. <laughs> And, but if I were to share a big sushi platter or me working out on my feed, it would be very confusing to my audience. But when I share it on stories, people, it's just another thing about me that people may connect to. Maybe they love sushi. Maybe they also order the party platter and just split it with their significant other the way we do. Um, maybe they do love to work out the way I do. Shannon loves to go on walks with her families daily if that's something that you love, or maybe you want to start doing, and she's that inspiration for you to see every day, that's where stories is a great place for you to just reinforce that personal brand. You see that our families are very important to us in our stories. You see our likes, our dislikes. We're both Bachelor reality TV fans, so you'll, you'll usually see on our to-do list, which is a great Instagram story option for you, content idea. You'll see that that's what we're catching up with at night. We're watching the latest Bachelor, we're watching the Housewives, we're watching all the reality shows. That's something that is part of our so social squad society personal brand that we reinforce on stories. And also, if you don't, if that's, if those two reasons aren't going to get you, let this one get you. Instagram stories is a way for you to connect one-on-one -on -one with your audience. Yes, they can comment, maybe they can engage with your content publicly, but being able to talk privately with you one-on-one -on -one is really what they want and probably what they feel more comfortable with. So every time you share a story, there's a little bubble at the bottom that says send message. Every single story you have is an opportunity for you to connect with your audience one-on-one. -on -one. DMs is a huge upward trend. Uh, me and Shannon have been preaching about work in the stories because you want to connect with people in the DMs for years. It is where our whole businesses um, have been built from. So when you think of it that way, instead of, ugh, I have to post stories again, and you think of it as, wow, I am giving uh, my audience an opportunity for me to connect one-on-one, -on -one. who knows where this could lead. It kind of changes the importance, right? Right, all right, so let's get to some awesome Instagram story content ideas. Now that you know why you need to share on stories, what do you share? It's kind of open-ended. <laughs> stories are kind of a free-for-all. Being in that, they can be super off the cuff. Some people feel like they need to show up on video to, for it to count. Not at all. Um, there's a lot of things with Instagram and social media in general that people make a lot harder than it has to be. Simply showing your coffee for the day and your view out your window are easy, easy story ideas that give people, your audience, a peek inside of your world without giving them too much. You could categorize Shannon and I as a little oversharing in our stories. We both share a lot of our struggles. We share our families. I share about my ADHD. Uh, Shannon shares about her anxiety. Like we share a lot. You don't have to share that. Sharing and giving personal information doesn't mean deep information. It doesn't need to be your deepest, darkest secrets. Um, just sharing your personal preference for your coffee creamer or a restaurant that you went to. These are all really great story ideas that can show 
um, give you, give your audience some personal information without giving too much personal information. If you are someone who wants to remain more private. So with the restaurant theme, what you're eating and what you're drinking. And the reason why you can roll your eyes all you want. The reason why this is great content is because everyone eats and everyone drinks. They do. Everyone drinks water. Everyone drinks whatever. You got a cool new water bottle, share it. You'll be shocked at how many people will respond. Maybe ask for the link. You could link it in your story. Now that we all have that link sticker, what are you having for dinner? Here's the easy recipe. Here's a one, one pan, easy sheet pan meal that I just screenshot. Here's the link ready, set, go. All of a sudden now you are a resource and you're simply sharing what you're eating and what you're drinking. You don't always have to share the recipe, but by sharing what you're eating or drinking, it shows your personal preferences, which reinforces your personal brand, which that's what people connect to. I love everything but the bagel seasoning. I don't post about it on my grid, but I have it on top of my toast and have since 2016, 17, I don't know. I've been sharing it on my stories a lot. It has become part of my personal brand without even meaning to. It's not that I went out and set out as a strategy, but what happens is people will go and try everything but the bagel seasoning. They will like it. And then that gives them more trust in me and what I have to say as a Instagram strategist. And that's literally how the Instagram psychology works with stories. Shannon loves oat milk lattes. She is known for it. Whenever anyone gets an oat milk latte, they tag Shannon in it because she's top of mind because she shares how much she loves oat milk lattes all the time. Again, she did not mean to do this as a strategy, but it's a great way to connect with your audience, to stay top of mind. When you give them these likes, dislikes, hey, have you tried this product? Have you tried this food? And then they go try it and they like it instant trust. Okay. It's a great way to build trust with your audience. Another great thing that we love to encourage you to share is behind the scenes, what you're doing, what your desk look, looks like. I, Shannon and I just this year got our own, um, offices. We used to work on the couch, on the bed. What, what does your office look like today? Do you, are you a realtor? Do you work from the car? Are you an author? Are you taking notes at in the waiting room at the doctor's office? What does your workspace look like today? Another great behind the scenes thing that's easy, that is a great way to show a lot of different parts of your brand, your business is to share a to-do list every day. I'll show you what I use. So when I, you can search filters. To search a filter, you swipe all the way over and you can browse effects, okay? And you can save it so that you can easily access it. So this is my to-do list filter. So as you can see, it's sharing the screen. Um, and I would take a picture of that, but maybe it's a picture of me, of whatever it is that you're doing. You have these spots right here. That's all it is. It's a filter that I use for my to-do list. I'll show you Shannon's. Shannon just uses a blank photo, a blank little canvas here. Let me show you what hers looks like. Sometimes she adds a photo to it, sometimes not. She has a crush the day list. So she has her boomerang right there. And then she just types this out. She just types out her to-do list, okay? And um, she adds the little check marks on the stuff she's already done. And, key, and these are just emojis, okay? This is all just the technical how-tos of adding of your to-do list. But what the to-do list does is show people what it's like to be you what it is that you do on a daily basis. It shows that you have clients, that you have customers. Um, if you own a boutique, wrapping up online orders and shipping them out today, but maybe it's first enjoying a cup of coffee um, and reading my book or you know watching the Today Show. Um, then I'm processing orders, a meeting with um, some influencers that I wanna partner with, uh, picking my kids up from school, making them dinner, and then tonight I am packaging up online orders. Not only does that show what you do in a day, but it also shows people that one, they can buy online, uh, two, that you have customers and clients, three, you are partnering with other influencers. That's an awesome way to market yourself as a boutique. Um, and you have kids and you're picking them up from school and you're going to do dinner and you're going to unplug, let's say, then spending time with your family, quality time with your family. That's just one story. And it gives so much information. We often say, like I was saying before, you know, oh, watching the bachelor tonight or watching, catching up on real housewives of New Jersey or whatever it is that we're doing. Every time people will respond to that. 
behind the scenes. Those are great stories to share. Just what you're doing, walking into a meeting, doing a boomerang of your feet. Um, you don't need to always talk to stories, but a great little bonus story idea um, to keep in your highlights is a start here. Um, just take a day and do four videos or less and talk about who you are, who you serve, what it is that you do, the problems you solve, um, and how people can work with you. And then save it as a highlight and name it Start Here. And then that way you're able to, when people come to your page, they go right there first. They know what you're about, what you do, uh, what problem you solve, if they would be an ideal fit for you, so on and so, so forth. So that's a great idea for you. If you have not done that, I need to do that. Um, but just in conclusion, the more mundane your stories are, um, if you go and you look at your analytics of, um, and insights of your stories, um, we have an awesome training inside the society where we go through selling on stories um, and we go through the analytics and we just did an insights training in January. And we went and looked and a lot of our replies, the most stories that had the most replies are nothing to do with our business. They're to do with our life. They're to do with things that people are connecting to. Um, and so it just goes to prove that the mundane in stories, which you may think, who cares? We all do. There are two things about Instagram, your Instagram audience, they're lazy and they're nosy. Uh, so they're nosy. They want to know what creamer you use. They want to know what your pet's name is. They want to know what the weather looks like outside. All right. So if you are needing more support with your social media, with your business in general, or just needing some community, um, owning a business can get really lonely. And we offer a very, very high touch, low cost membership with the Social Squad Society. We love our members so much. We see them at least three times a month live there to answer questions, as well as having our email inbox open to them at all times. We love supporting them and helping them figure things out. So if you are needing some support, click the link below. We would love to see you in there. Bye.